Thanks, Claire. Tēnā koutou katoa ko RNZ National TNA. I'm Karen Hay. This is the panel, and I'm in for Wallace just for the day. And in a moment, we're going to New York, where it's dark, and we're going to talk to a woman who's running in the world's longest race right now. And as I said, we're going to New York to start, where the time is just rolled over to 13 minutes to 11 at night. And pounding the streets in Queens, as I speak, is a Christchurch woman, Harita Davies, who's competing in the world's longest foot race. It's the Sri Chinmoy Self Transcendence 3,100 mile race, or in kilometres, that's 5,033 kilometres, which is the equivalent uh, to the distance from picked into Invercargill and back three times. That's six times the length of the South Island. And this race was founded by the late Indian spiritual leader Sri Chinmoy in 1997 and it challenges runners to transcend their own previous capacity, gain spiritual insights and overcome the preconceived notions of possibility. And the rules are a bit different. You're, you're running around the block, basically, this half-mile course. It's an 883-metre lap in Queens. You've got pedestrians and traffic. You have 52 days to complete the distance, and you can run or walk, and you can do as much as you're capable of between 6 in the morning and midnight, which may sound easy to the uninitiated, but in order to do this, you need to complete 96 kilometres kilometres every day for 52 days. It's been described as the Everest of ultra running and we're joining Harita Davies at the end of a very long day. She's on course to break her own New Zealand record and to finish a day early on Sunday, October 24th and she joins us now on the race from Queens, New York. Kia ora Harita. Kia ora. How are you going? I'm going pretty well today actually. <laughs> How long have you been, been out there today? Well, um, as you mentioned, the race starts at 6 a.m. And so um, basically, yeah, since then, um, you can have uh, breaks throughout the day. So usually I have um, three breaks each day. And um, they end up being, I have a rest for 10 minutes in each break. And then the break ends up being about half an hour long. So, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, you, apart from those three breaks, I've been out running for the whole day. Mm -hmm. So you're running. This is a race that you're actually running because you can walk it as well, can't you? Well, it's a running race. Um, there has been one woman who has completed it walking, um, but she had to walk really fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, cause it's, um, yeah, 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 because to complete the mileage, um, you know, you have to be a really fast walker to do that. It's quite late at night there in Queens. Can you describe where you are and what you're passing? <laughs> sure. So um, I'm in Jamaica, Queens, and so it's um, kind of a really super multicultural neighbourhood in New York. Um, there's a predominance of Bengali, African American, um, Hispanic, and then you know some white people as well. And so I was just running past a um, group of young Bengali men. There's a lot of young Bengali men who are out here at night time. <laughs> um, there's no woman. I guess the women are all at home looking after the kids and um, they kind of party and stuff like that and now I'm running past the playground and um, at night time I have a man who cycles behind me just for safety because otherwise it's a little... So I heard someone woman out running around. Yes, I heard someone calling out your name, Harita. Zoe's actually <laughs> interviewed you, Harita, and she's on the, the line now, haven't you? You've interviewed oh, Harita. Yeah. Hi, Harita. It's lovely to chat with you again. We spoke last year when you were competing, completing it, um, and it was right. around the time that they. Yeah, it was around the time that they released the um, the documentary on it. And if you haven't seen yes. the documentary, it is. Absolutely incredible. But I have a question for you. How many pairs of shoes have you gone through this time? <laughs> um, I think I've been through about 12 pairs. Yeah. And, um, but, uh, yeah, let's see by the end. There'll be a few more probably. But there's only actually, <laughs> yeah, less than a week to go. So. Um, <laughs> and, and how, like, yeah, how do you deal with... How do you deal with blisters? What's your secret for ensuring that you don't get blisters during this time? Because, gosh, it would just be awful to get it in the first couple of days and then have to deal with all of those days with, with blisters that hurt. Yeah, a lot of people do get blisters, and I have had some, um, mostly on my toes. Um, 
one really big secret is to have shoes that are wide enough and big enough for your feet because a lot of us kind of not not realizing it sort of squish our feet into our shoes and that cre- creates um, you know a much more opportunity for blisters using putting cornstarch on your feet, putting coconut oil, and um, yeah, keeping them dry. Um, when it rains, that's always a big challenge for blisters that so you have to like really try to change your shoes as soon as you can and dry them out. Um, I've been yeah been really lucky the bottom of my feet are in really good condition and I have some you know tape on my toes but um in general I've been very lucky in this race you you sound very perky for someone who's been running since (laughs) every day since August (laughs) I know well it's incredible the capacity that the human body has to adapt to situations I mean you kind of see that when people are refugees and they're forced to walk thousands of miles you know like you we do all have this incredible innate capacity to um to do so much more than we realize and so with this race usually the first couple of weeks are the kind of adaption process um, part of the toughest and then you you do somewhat adapt but of course at the same time it's extremely challenging every day yeah and it's primarily a spiritual exercise as, as well as the physicality of it. But is that why you entered the race, to, to gain insight into your own limits? Um, yeah, I, I, when I first started practicing meditation, then I also started running and I really saw um, through, through Sri Chinmoy's insights and through my own um, experience, I really saw how um, physical exercise and meditation really go together and bringing light into your whole being, giving real, a real kind of the running part and the physical part really gives a uh, really real um, experience of what the uh, what self transcendence and what um, the unlimited capacity that we have within us um, really means, kind of exemplified in a physical way, and so. Um, this race, yeah, it's called the Self Transcendence 3100 Mile Race because it's kind of about um, self transcendence, which is the notion of really going beyond yourself to um, tap into that unlimited potential that we all have virtually and on, on every level. And when you kind of see it in a physical way, then you can see it um, manifest in other areas of your life as well. So um, for me, it's to be able to really, you know, ultimately be the best possible person that I can and get a, you know, get a glimpse of what my potential is. And we don't really see that unless we really challenge ourselves. Um, obviously, we don't have to challenge ourselves by running 3,100 miles, but finding a way that is meaningful for us. And then also, um, one thing that really motivates me is if I can inspire other people um, again, not to go out and run 3,100 miles, but to, to challenge themselves. And in, in the Western world, you know, most of us live um, quite comfortable lives. And so uh, often we, we really, if we do these kind of things, we have the opportunity to, to really get fulfillment and satisfaction, which you really only get by expanding your capacity. Well, well, you've inspired us, Harita. Thank you so much for, for joining us from the streets of New York. At, you've, you've got an hour and five minutes before you can finish for the day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good luck. And you finish on Sunday, so good luck with that record. Thanks for joining us. Okay, thank you so much. It's Harita Davies from New York. She's from Christchurch. She's going to break her own record in the world's longest foot race, which is, as I said, she's in New York right now. That was incredible, wasn't it? What did you think of that, Dean? Uh, I thought it was super impressive as well, having now tried to do a lot of Zoom meetings uh, while I'm either running or doing my weights or something. She was able to talk while running without skipping a beat and sound positive. That's uh, that's pretty incredible. And not only that, she's been running since 6am this morning and since August, every day. Quite something. (laughs)